Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk briefly about the SIG P320 or the M17 and a recent event that took place in Canada. Well, actually it's not that recent of an event. It happened several months ago, but just made it into the Canadian press. And then we of course just learned about it here in the United States ourselves within the last few days. It's been reported by other social media outlets that the gun in question, again, the SIG P320 or in this case, the M17 has fired without the user initiating that firing sequence. In other words, the gun fired itself. At least that's the claim. Now the Canadian uh, military didn't say publicly what they thought happened. All they said is that one of their JTF2 or Joint Task Force 2 Special Operations uh, soldiers was injured by a P320 in an incident and they shelved the handguns pending a review. And that's the news that we got. But a lot of people jumped to the conclusion, and maybe rightly so, that the P320 still has litigation pending here in the United States, about 10 ongoing lawsuits that I'm aware of, where it's claimed, but not proven yet, that the guns can fire in the holster without the trigger being pulled. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but SIG has made a statement that hasn't been released by a lot of these media sources that are reporting on this problem, and I think that's a bit unfair. I'm not defending SIG here. I have no idea what actually happened, and we may never know, but I wanted to give SIG's side of the story because it's only fair. Because a lot of, again, the social media folks out there talking about this aren't telling SIG's side of the story. So here's SIG's uh, press release. So SIG Sauer, uh, working with Canada Special Operations Forces Command uh, to resolve an incident involving the unintended discharge of a P320. An inaccurate and incomplete report of this incident was recently published in the Canadian media that called into question the safety of the P320. While this incident occurred months ago, this erroneous media report is driven by multiple sources, including our competitors, and coincides with the imminent release of other Canadian military and law enforcement tenders, indicating that the timing of this release is an attempt to in, uh, improperly influence the procurements. The firearm involved has been extensively tested by Sig Sauer, and it has been determined to be safe. The investigation revealed the use of an incorrect holster not designed for the P320. The use of a modified P226 holster created an unsafe condition <clears throat> by allowing a foreign object to enter the holster, causing the unintentional discharge. And it goes on from there. Now, Sig is speculating as to what the motives were uh, by the media report. I think that's a bit, um, I don't know, unfair. Who knows what actually uh, caused the media to write that article when they wrote it. Maybe they just came into possession of that information. So I, I, I don't really, uh, you know, appreciate what Sig was saying at the beginning of the press release, but if you get down into the meat of the press release, I can understand why Sig is possibly upset. They have the gun in question in their hands. They've tested it extensively according to them, and the gun apparently isn't firing without the trigger being pulled. So in cases like this, it's he said, she said. With the ongoing lawsuits that have been filed against SIG with regards to the guns firing in the holster, it's not uncommon. Such lawsuits have happened before and it's been determined to be user error. Very rarely will somebody do something stupid or unsafe with that gun and then accept responsibility for it. The first thing they'll do is say, oh, the gun malfunctioned. The gun wasn't loaded. I don't know how it got loaded. I didn't pull the trigger. It just fired on its own. We hear that all the time, and I would say the vast majority of reports where a gun has fired itself actually was user error. So I don't want to jump to any conclusions as to the safety of the P320, million, over a million, maybe close to two million, I don't know, but well over a million of these P320s are out there in circulation. I believe it was introduced in 2017. I know they've delivered several hundred thousand of these just to the U.S. military, and I don't know how many law enforcement uh, departments carry this handgun or how many civilians also carry this handgun. You'll notice this gun is on my personal kit that I use and I've been shooting the M18 and the M17 now for well over a year fairly extensively and the gun hasn't fired itself in my holster. But then again I have a sample set of I think three or four if you count the M18. So anyway, I just wanted to give the other side of the story. I'm not taking sides here, but I think it's only fair to get out the whole story so you, the consumer, can make an informed decision. Guys, if you'd like to support us here at the Military Arms Channel to help bring you honest and unbiased as humanly possible information like this, please consider becoming part of our Patreon family. There's a link down below. We give you uh, early access to videos before they release publicly. We respond to direct communications 
uh, very quickly. And so we have a great little community we've built there with blog posts and other things like that. So again, please click that link and consider supporting us. Right here on YouTube, there's a little join button underneath the video player you're watching right now. Give it a click and consider supporting us here on YouTube. And last but not least, guys, please swing by and check out coppercustom.com. Thank you for 13 years of support, and we'll talk to you guys soon.